Hello, friends. It's actually Monday evening, um, November 2nd, and I'm recording this message a bit early because I'll be traveling uh, to New York for a week to be with our daughter, Sarah, and her family. Jan R. went ahead of me, and she's been there since Friday. Uh, the exciting news this week at Central is that we are going to return to in-person worship in our sanctuary at 11 o'clock for the English service. The Cambodian Fellowship will be worshiping in the Fellowship Hall at 1030. This will be distanced, masked, um, non-singing worship to comply with the requirements of both our county and our denomination. Um, and the process for uh, checking in will be very similar to what we did outside, except that because we're inside, um, even people who are wearing a face shield will have to wear a mask in addition during the service. Um, we are not able to sing, but we are able to have special music with musicians um, up in the chancel area far from where we're seated. So uh, I know we're going to learn a lot this Sunday. And um, so I ask you if you are coming to do a few things for us, please email Alan Cook this week because Susie will be gone on Thursday and Friday. Let him know um, that you are coming, how many people and make sure he has your phone number and email because that's important contact information. Be prepared um, to have to wait a few minutes to complete the registration and temperature taking process. So you might wanna come a little bit early. Uh, be prepared to wear a mask throughout the service. Uh, be prepared for our ushers to determine where you will sit because we need to reserve certain pews for family groups and other pews for uh, spaced um, couples or people who come alone. So our seating will um, will have to be by, by the direction of our ushers. Uh, we are doing everything we can to make this a safe service. I'm excited and I also want to encourage people who are in any kind of high risk category for COVID-19 to continue worshiping from home. We will continue to provide our online service and uh, I'm sure we'll be doing so for probably from here on out. <clears throat> we have tested some new equipment that will um, help us as we move forward to experiment with some live streaming, but we are going to not do that yet. We're going to take one step at a time. So we will continue to pre-record because we know how to do that well. And then we'll have our service at 11, a single service. Coffee hour will move to noon um, to accommodate the time change. So we can seat a maximum of 125 people in our big sanctuary. So there should be plenty of distance between folks. So that's the big news for this week. Um, please uh, think about signing up for an Advent study, Alan. Cook and Rochelle Mims will each lead a session of our Advent study, Mary Had a Baby, and I am going to focus the Advent sermons around the four spirituals uh, and the scripture texts featured in this study. Um, it seems a really good year to draw on our rich African-American heritage um, as we consider what it means to long for the birth of Jesus in a difficult time, which we're in. So, I will be praying tomorrow and in the future for our country as we move through this election. I know many of us are anxious and I know no matter the outcome, people will be disappointed. I hope that we can move forward with grace and hope as we continue to experience all that this year has brought us. Uh, while I am gone, uh, Pastor Gary Pope Sears of Holy Cross and Pastor George Ed Bennett of Lodi are on call for any pastoral emergencies. And if you reach out to Susie or to Alan, um, who is back now from, from uh, his renewal leave, then they can put you in touch. Um, so we, and Martha, of course, will be available as our parish visitor for any emergencies. So I look forward to seeing you. I'll be flying back a week from, from tomorrow, a week from election day. And um, we have some 
fun plans for Advent, even though so much of what we do is virtual now. So we're continuing to receive pledge cards. We'll give an update on our pledge report and um, please look for information about an all church gathering. Everyone is invited on Wednesday, November 18th. We're going to try to replicate the wonderful conversations we had during our charge conference with our district superintendent. So I look forward to that and I look forward to seeing many of you at Sunday evening communion, at Bible study, and certainly in worship, whether it's virtual or in person. So have a great week. Know that Jesus walks with us. See you soon.